What's up YouTube? It's Holly Pocket. Today I am going to show you guys my bedroom. I've definitely changed things up a lot since the last time you saw it. This is the same room I lived in before I lived in my apartment. I'll link both of those uh, tours down below. My old bedroom tour and my apartment tour. I did have a DIY video planned for this week but I hurt my back so this is just the best I can do. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it will be coming soon. And until then, here is my bedroom. So here is a little overview from the door. It's a really small room, um, but organized well. I think it serves me perfectly. This is the back of the drawer. I've just got a couple of these little hooks up here. My best friends actually bought me this set of hooks for my birthday way back when I was in high school and I still have them and love them and use them. This bag is from the Target Dollar Spot. I think it was like five bucks or something. I always use it whenever I need to take my laptop somewhere since I don't have like a really good laptop case right now. This scarf, I think it's also from Target, but it was also a Christmas gift from a family friend. These are my DIY mosaic mirrors that I did a video on maybe like a year ago. Um, I'll link that DIY down below too. Next over here is the door to my closet. I have that third hook from the set up here with my robe and then back here. I just have this scarf from Hollister and my Instax camera that I never ever remember to use, but I really need to remember to use that. Leave a like on this video if you want me to do a updated closet tour. Obviously the focal point of my room is my bed. Um, the bed frame is from Ikea. I have these little drawers under and I have some scrapbooking projects back under there. My rug is also from Ikea. I feel like this is the rug that like everyone has. I'm kind of sick of it, honestly. <laughs> um, my sheets are from Amazon, uh, bleh. my sheets are Amazon Basics. These are, these are the ones that Paulina was talking about buying and I thought they were super cute, so I got them too. And they're actually, they're actually really soft and comfortable. They've held up through a few washes so far. This coverlet is from, I don't remember if it's from TJ Maxx or Ross, somewhere like that. Um, super soft, I just love the blue and cream stripes. I wanted to bring a little bit of color into my room. Not too much. <laughs> Um, the pillows are all from different places as well. This one is from TJ Maxx. This one is from Home Goods. Can't remember where that one's from, but I did have that one when I lived in my apartment. Back there is my Lord Nermal pillow from Rip and Dip. And I just bought that like cylinder bolster pillow at Steinmart this past weekend. I really needed a new one, so I finally got that. It's super cute. You'll see it again later. These chandelier things are from Ikea about a bajillion years ago. They don't even have them anymore, but these have been in my room since forever. They're really good lights. And this is Ralph. He was definitely in my last room tour, um, but now he has a place of honor above the bed. I really like just how simple this looks. I wish I had a better way to hide these gourds, but I really just like how there's like not too much stuff going on above the bed. Next to my bed, I have this dresser that I bought at Salvation Army a thousand years ago. I think I've painted it about a thousand different times. I did vlog when I painted it black back when I lived at my apartment. Above my dresser, I just have this frame. I think I had this in my apartment too. I don't remember where it's from. Ross probably. Um, but it says there are so many beautiful reasons to be happy. And I think that's just a really nice reminder. Every single day I get to see that and remember to be appreciative and to be positive and to live my best life. On top of my dresser, I have my little hippo from Dave and Buster's. I sleep with him sometimes not all the time my lamp from ikea 
Um, this print, my friend Blaze is an artist, so I wanted to support him, and I bought this print off his website. I will try to remember to link his site down below if you want to buy something of his. He does these really cool um, cross-cut pieces of, like, beaches and ocean stuff, so really, really cool. And then my sand dollars back there, and I just have... A bunch of frames I just got this frame my family just brought this back from Iran when they went it's a piece from my uh, sorry I mean my aunt's store um, so I haven't decided what pictures I want to put in it yet this is my clock that I've had forever it doesn't really match my room anymore but I still love it also next to my bed is all my charging stuff seriously one of the best things I ever did was I took command sh like velcro strips and stuck this um power strip to the side of my bed and you can't see it when my bed's made really but then I have all kinds of places to plug in cords plug in lamps and my clock and stuff um and I can reach easily so that's really nice also my fake yeti stay hydrated an icon right in front of my bed is my tv the same one i had in my apartment this was in my living room at my apartment this little entertainment center thing so on top i just have some books that i love or that i've been meaning to read or want to read again i really really need to make more time for reading so i have them right out where i can see them and reach them easily then I have this little candle that I got from Target. It smells really good. I don't remember what it is. I think it's um, honeyed tobacco leaf. But, like, I always, if you touch it, you get, like, white powdery stuff all over you. But I thought this, like, outside part was really cool. Then I have my computer because that is how I watch TV is through my computer because I don't have cable. I just have Hulu, Netflix whatever I keep my record player right here and then I have all of my records down here and then I have all of my DVDs and these books over here I feel like it saves a lot of space and it makes everything a lot easier to find in the middle right here I have this DVD player it's like my family's old one that we don't use anymore but it doesn't really work so probably gonna get rid of it underneath I have my little tray that I use every like if I need a flat surface or something up here um, I love this thing. I have this in my apartment too. Then in this middle drawer is all of Maisie's clothes. This is like starting to be so full. She has a lot of costumes and clothes and oh my god, it's, it's too much. I need to go through them and I need to find a better way to store them because they are like, pop, like pushing the shelf up so the drawer won't close. On this side, I just have some candles and then candle accessories lighters wax melts um what are they called wallflowers <laughs> and then down here is just like picture hanging stuff tools um extension cord scissors command strips back there is a box um of dvds that i haven't put into my little books yet and my bluetooth speaker that i got for Christmas. In this corner I have my Alex makeup drawers. I feel like everyone has these. I have a wildly excessive amount of makeup and um, I have recently gone through and gotten rid of a ton. All of um, the non-cruelty free products and stuff like that. So if you want me to do a makeup collection video I guess leave a comment and let me know. As much as I love watching them myself, they're kind of tacky, aren't they? Like, I can't, I don't know how I could film one. I would just feel weird, but um, all of my makeup's in here. I have different, that one's messy. I have everything, like, organized. So up top here, I really, I do stand right here and do my makeup just about every day. Um, so I put a light up here. I got this off of House, H-O-U-Z-Z. -Z that website so I got just the frame for super cheap and then I had to buy like a like a the cord and the light part so it was really inexpensive I just have it hung up here with some command hooks and there's like a little flip switch back there this is my horse painting that I've had since I was really little my mom had a co-worker who used to repaint 
old like garage sale paintings and so she had him do one for me and this is what he made i was totally one of those kids that was like super nerdy into horses even though i like didn't have one barely had ridden one like twice <laughs> but i love it it's super pretty i will always always treasure this on top of my makeup drawers i have this little like i don't know i think it's like i'm kind of bathroom caddy or something but i got it at home goods and then just on top i have all my perfume and a couple different lotions um underneath i have my makeup brushes so these are my dirty ones um that i like use all the time and then back here i have all my clean ones so this is from ikea this is an old like bath and body works candle that i cleaned out and then this um really pretty like honeycomb one is from home goods i keep uh my dirty ones in this glass one because it's easier to clean but this is actually an antique beer mug from Iran from back way when they were allowed to have alcohol I guess <laughs> um, but when my grandmother died they had two of these so they gave them to me and one to my sister so another thing that I absolutely treasure I love having stuff out and able to use it in my everyday life that I really love I get to be reminded of my grandmother every day when I see this and I just have a candle right here super pretty i haven't burned it yet i just got it this past weekend from ross me and my sister got the same one um so yeah but it's really pretty so i did want to just put it like out and then my mirror it's got like the, the mesos say hello mesos so just my mirror where i do my makeup the other side has like a like a zoom mirror that's not the right word mag mag magnetized no <laughs> i can't remember the word it's bigger on the other side <laughs> and come around to here you have my one big window it looks out on my neighbor's backyard super cool just have a seashell down here and a wallflower and right now i have mahogany teak wood in there then excuse the stained carpet this this house is really old and then i have a little bed for Maisie over here because i don't always want her on my bed but i do want her to be comfy when she's in here and she likes to sit there whenever I'm doing my makeup. Then this is the other side of my bed. Like I said, this is a really small room, but that's okay. I still love it. Then I have just a little stool over here. I've had that thing forever and I didn't want to get rid of it. Um, it doesn't really match, but it's perfect for Maisie to like jump up on the bed by herself. Um, and there's my pillows that I was mentioning before. And I have this Ikea bookshelf, and I did use to keep books on it, <laughs> um, but I have repurposed it into a shoe shelf. Sorry, it's really dark. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Up on top, I just have this giant silver pineapple. Um, I definitely had that in my apartment, and my little Buddha that I got in Old Town. Um, a big giant picture of Maisie, because she's the queen, of course. And then back there is a Vince Camuto jelly bag that my mom got me for my birthday one year. And I don't carry it a ton because it's kind of heavy, but I do love looking at it and remembering that my mama picked it out just for me and it matches my room. So it's out here. And I've just got shoes, shoes, shoes. And then just, yeah, and then boots at the bottom. I'm trying to get rid of some, but I can't decide what I want to do. So I've got a few extra pairs out there right now i do have more shoes in my closet but these are the ones that i wear the most right here i have all of my september issues of vogue i'm missing a couple um but hopefully i can find them someday and i have my new one but i haven't read it yet so it's not up here and just another pineapple little thing that i've had forever also in case anybody is wondering this is from ikea also i think i got this in the kitchen section it's like a shelf extender thing so it's like a shelf for your shelf <laughs> so since this is like so tall it would be like a lot of wasted space and i have so many shoes so i just have that right there and i've had that thing forever too if definitely but yeah so that is my bedroom you can kind of see me over here um, I'm really happy with how it looks right now and 
the vibe that it gives off. It's just a really nice place for me to come and relax. And sometimes I work, sometimes I read, sometimes I just veg and watch Netflix. Love, love, love this room. Makes me so happy. Decorating is always just kind of a work in progress. You're never really done, I feel like, but I'm really happy with the way things are in here right now. I hope you like this room tour. Like I said, like this video if you want me to do an updated closet tour. Leave a comment if you want me to do a makeup collection video. Um, honestly, leave a comment with any videos you might want to see from me. I am happy to take requests. Yeah, if you want to follow me, all of my social media accounts are listed down below. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, leave me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And if you're watching this, I love you. Bye. Thanks for watching, friends. This is my room. I'll just let her stay here sometimes. <laughs>